on you will go, though the weather be foul. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Oh, yeah. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. Put in the work, the hours, the sweat. Oh, yeah. On you will go, though the heck and cracked howl. See, dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. Hi everybody, it's Big Anklevich here for another episode of The Ankle Cast. Today's gonna to be a little bit different because I am doing a video ankle cast for the first time ever. Um, if you're listening to this on uh, just the regular podcast feed, there should be a link uh, to the YouTube version of this so you can go watch it if you want to. I'm not sure, to tell you the truth, if there's a good reason for it. I looked in the mirror, tried to make sure my nose wasn't running, and I didn't have anything in my teeth. I hope I got it all. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so here I am. Um, I'm doing, it's gonna be a short show. Uh, I'm not driving all the way to work this time around. I'm just standing here in my uh, study. So I can't talk forever. I get tired if I stand for too long. But anyways, I'm, I'm just going to talk about uh, the February uh, challenge that I did, how it came out, how it worked, and look forward to the March challenge that I will also be doing. So, uh, in February, I promised, I, I pledged to write 500 words a day, every day in February. The more you do it, the better you get. And everybody knows that, including me, but for some reason I don't, I'm not doing it more and I, and I need to get over that and I need to just do it. And I need to write more and more, I need to write every day. And I think that here and now I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it a goal. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick the Dupo Remo month because it's the shortest month of all. And I'm gonna say in February, I'm gonna write 500 words a day, every day. You heard it here first, folks. I just, I, it was probably dumb of me to say, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make that my goal. I don't know why, to tell you the truth, I decided to do this. I just thought I need to do something and I went for it. Usually February is not a good month. February is one of the sweeps months uh, in the calendar. There's November, February, and May. February usually is the least awful of the sweeps months, so there is that. I don't know why it's the least awful, but they tend to go a little more all out in November and in uh, May, so it was kind of a good month. I've always been afraid to try NaNoWriMo because of sweeps being in November and me knowing that there's probably no way that I can write, because I think with NaNoWriMo you have to write like more than 1,500 words a day to keep up to get your whatever it is. I can't remember what the, the goal is that you're trying to get to. Is it 40,000 or somewhere around there? Anyways, so yeah, I've never tried it before. Um, I've always used that as an excuse, and for some reason, I can't say why, I decided not to use it as an excuse in February this year. I just thought I need to do something. I need to get going. I need to be a writer. And so I pledged 500 words a day, every day in February, and I did it. Uh, there were a lot of times where I thought it was gonna be hard. I thought it was gonna be weird. I thought it was gonna be uh, too much. <laughs> Shut up, phone. Um, and yeah, it turned out to be fine. It was not too much. It wasn't too hard. Uh, it was a lot of work. And there were several times where, for example, I got together with Rish to do the podcast and we always go all night long. And so it was two in the morning and I was like, okay, see you later, Rish. I got to sit down and write my 500 words. And that was tough, but we did develop a deal uh, halfway through the month where, uh, you know, we went to this writer's conference that they have every year just right close by. And Rish went to a panel that was about being a full-time writer versus a 
part-time writer. And one of the things that one of the guys in there said was that he used to get together with all of his writer friends at a coffee shop and they weren't allowed to speak to each other until they'd sat down and written for, I don't know, an hour or for a thousand words or whatever. And once they'd done that, then, oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, nice. How have you been this week? Yeah, you, you, your kid's in the emergency room? Well, that's too bad. You know, that kind of stuff. They were finally allowed to uh, speak. And so me and Rich didn't take it that far, but our deal was, yeah, we're, we're going to uh, do 50, or sorry, <laughs> I almost said 50,000 words. I don't know why. Uh, we're going to do 30 minutes uh, of writing while we're getting together. So we get together and uh, we found that at the local Wendy's, they have like a little bar for dorks like us that want to sit in there on, on their laptops or whatever. So there's plugs right underneath it. Uh, we didn't realize that at first, unfortunately. So the first week, Rich just brought his little notebook and he wrote on that. He left his laptop in his car at the Target. We got in my car, drove over to Wendy's, and he had no laptop. Uh, he didn't bring it with him because he was like, eh. The charge on it never lasts more than like two minutes anymore. It's like barely lasts long enough to even get the thing started up, so I'm not going to bother. And then we got there and found that there was plugs right underneath the counter and he totally could have done it. So the next week, at least, he brought his laptop and he was able to not have to retype all this stuff up, which is good. I hate retyping. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's kind of fun to write in a notebook sometimes, but, oh, typing it up afterward drives me crazy. I would not be able to do Rish's process. Uh, I have a little keyboard. It's my old, let's see, it's right here. Uh, oi! I have a little keyboard that uh, I can keep on hand. And uh, I just bring that with me. And um, yeah, I can hook that Bluetooth of that up into my phone and I can just write on Google Docs using that. And so that's what I do. I do all my, all my stuff on Google Docs because I can have it anywhere. It's awesome. I, if you don't use that, I would totally recommend doing that because yeah, I can write at work. I can write at home. I could write on my little keyboard anywhere. Um, as long as I can attach, if, as long as I can get a satellite link up <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. Um, you know, then I can right so that's awesome i wrote all that time every day of the uh, month it was sometimes difficult but it was my goal and i and i stuck to it there were nights where i would have rather have gone to bed a lot of nights like that but instead i thought eh, can't do it got to go and at least write 500 words and one one time i actually wrote 500 and one words and <laughs> I was uh, so glad to be done at that time. I was like, yes, how do you like that? Um, there were several times where I was just like, eh, I just want to be done. And I would look at the word count and no, it's only at 350. And um, I had to struggle on. But, um, but yeah, I, I did it. There were uh, a lot of days too that I got really high word counts, you know, I... Uh, I had one day where I had 15, more than 1,500 words. More, uh, one day when I had like 1,300. Several days during the month where I had in the 900s. But mostly it was close to 500. It takes around a half hour to get 500 words. I wanted to uh, at least write for that much. Now, um, I am pushing into March. And the, I've done this before, way back in 2011, I did a 500 words a day marathon through September. And I forced myself to write. I thought, you know, at the time I was doing this crazy CrossFit stuff, which as you can tell, I no longer do. But at the time I was doing all this CrossFit stuff and I had this, the, my trainer 
set me up and said, okay, we're gonna do this crazy kind of a diet thing. And it was some kind of a paleo thing where you can only eat this and this. And I had to do it for the whole month. And uh, it's, it sucked, I hated it, man. I couldn't eat anything. Um, I think I was allowed to eat almonds and I think that was the one thing that got me through the month because I just ate a lot of almonds. Um, which you would think would be bad because almonds have a lot of calories, but it wasn't, it worked out for me. I lost like 15 pounds in the month or no, that's probably too much, but I lost like at least 10 pounds in the month. I don't know. I was down to a pretty good weight. One of the best weights that I've been at, uh, at, at ever in, uh, during that month. And then when I was done with that month, I thought, you know what, if I can subject myself to that, I can totally force myself to write every day for a month. And so I did. But unfortunately, in hindsight now it's 2020 and so I'm doing it differently this time around. Unfortunately, I didn't s force myself to continue afterwards. I just thought, yay, I did it. I'm done. I'll never write again. I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking, but that's basically what I did. And so, yeah, I blew it. Um, but now here we are many years later and I'm much fatter and I still know that I can write every day in a month if I tried. And so I forced myself to do it again. But this time around, when we finished the month, I said, okay, now you have to write twice as much. So instead of being just 500 words, my goal in March is a thousand words every day. And I have made it so far. Um, I am two days in. Today is now the third. And uh, the first two days I managed to get over a thousand words. Uh, first day was just barely over. I kept checking the word count every, you know, 15 minutes and seeing where I was at. But um, this time, yeah, I didn't, uh, the, the second day I just, I set a timer for an hour and I was gonna write for that hour. And I did, I only checked once at the half hour mark just to see where I was at. And it turns out that I was over, I was at like 600 something words. And when I got to the end of the hour, actually not even quite the end of the hour, I stopped six minutes early and I was already at 1300 words. I stopped a little early because I finished the chapter and uh, I didn't feel like going on to the next one that day. But yeah, so it's working so far. So it even looks better. And that's one of those things that we learned at that writer's conference that we went to. It was, uh, I, I listened to some people who were writers and they were saying, oh, as a, as a self-published writer, you got to publish every two months or less. And I was just like, Phew. everybody, I think, and the audience was just like, Phew. two months, a book every two months, are you, um, but then they said, oh yeah, you know, our books, the books that I put out are about 40 to 50,000 words. So first of all, they're not big books. They're not like 700 page Abigail Hilton books or something. They are, I think uh, at a different conference I went to, they called those commuter novels. Um, I think the girl who said it, uh, the author who said it was a YA writer. So generally YA doesn't have to be long. I mean, obviously there's Harry Potter tomes out there to prove me wrong, but it doesn't have to be, it just can be. And so when I worked that out in my head, a thousand words a day times two months makes 60,000 words. You can get to 40 to 50,000 words in 40 or 50 days. So there's time left over even to plan the next novel if, if I work that out, just doing a thousand words a day. And I'm willing to bet that that Though all those people that were on that panel that I was at didn't do a thousand words a day. They did this as a living. They were full-time writers. And I'm sure they had to spend a good portion of their day dealing with, you know, what it takes, I don't know, formatting their books and getting them edited and getting, you know, dealing with being a business person as well as being an author. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's doable even as a person who's writing an hour a day, if I can do that. So, 
you know, at the very least, it's a way to get started. That's what I really want to do is just get enough things so that I can say, hey, I'm on my way. Now it's time to quit my job and be a full-time writer so that I can kick it up a notch and go even farther. Um, so yeah, I wrote all month long. It was awesome. Uh, just because this is a video podcast here is video of me uh, pretending to write. <laughs> uh, isn't that rad? I bet you're loving this video. And those of you who are listening just to the podcast are not loving it because it's not visible to you. Um, it turned out well, and I'm really, really excited about the future. It's, it's looking up. Um, it's funny because I haven't been excited in a long time. And um, I'm, I'm excited to be excited, which is weird, stupid, cheesy, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so here's my first video ankle cast, and uh, here is the ankle cast outro. Uh, be inspired, get out there, whatever your dream is, do, do it! it! Uh, <laughs> because your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. And thanks for watching slash listening, everybody. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Your goal should be a dream with a deadline. That's why I gave you five years. Do it! Do it! You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Take the shot. There will always be things in the way you dream. Don't let your dreams be dreams. You go out and you find why not. You surround yourself with why not. Live a why not life, man. Where we are today is where we are. Today's the starting day. I know what we're gonna do today. Just do it! Do it! And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. That's all it takes to be successful is an attitude. It's an awesome feeling when you truly believe that you're going to be successful. Nothing is impossible! Dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Bye bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle! Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye bye! Stay. Bark, bark, quagtail. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, really big? Seriously?